Hi, I'm Laurie Bowes from the University of Bristol. I'm presenting work from a joint project between Bristol and Manchester University on a visual odometry for pixel processor arrays. So for those unfamiliar, pixel processor arrays are visual sensors where every pixel element contains both a processor, memory registers, and also there is communication between the pixels themselves. This work is making use of the SCAMP5 sensor being developed at the University of Manchester featuring a 256 by 256 array of 65,000 processors, each at 10 megahertz, all upon the same piece of silicon. This architecture allows whole images and other visual data to be stored and efficiently processed directly on the sensor's image plane. Additionally, the sensor's output per frame is determined by the program being executed on it. Um, so your output can range from entire images to only a few bytes of data. For example, you can perform point feature extraction and then only output the XY locations of the features detected. Here we see a comparison between the visual pipelines of a standard camera and a PPA sensor. The standard approach requires entire images be transferred to external hardware for processing, whereas the PPA can perform processing on board and then only output meaningful data. This can result in a huge decrease in the amount of bandwidth and power required to process each frame and allows the sensor to operate at extremely high frame rates. Here we'd see, um, we present a visual odometry approach for PPA sensors based on image alignment between the current image and the keyframe. This process estimates the sensor's orientation and forward and backward motion along the camera axis. On the left, we can see the motion estimation indicated by the vertical meter and the yaw and pitch estimation indicated by the overlay cross. All processing is conducted on the PPA sensor itself in excess of 500 hertz. Uh, to achieve this, we introduce methods of performing various transformations to the images stored upon the sensor's image plane, beginning with shear operations seen here, uh, which you can combine to uh, perform full image rotations. We also introduce methods to scaling stored images by uh, eliminating or inserting rows at specific positions and at specific orders. The massively parallel nature of the PPA sensor allows these, perform these to be performed in an extremely efficient parallel manner. Using these transformations, we're able to conduct image alignment between images stored on the sensor's image plane. This involves extracting edges from each image and conducting an iterative process to maximize the number of edge pixels overlapping between them. Here we see an example of using this process to align the latest sensor image with a stored keyframe. When limiting the sensor's output to just the alignment transformation itself, this can be performed at over 1,000 frames per second. Changes in camera orientation are then deduced from the translation and rotational components of the alignment transformation. And similarly, motion along the camera axis is deduced by the scaling component of the alignment transformation. To evaluate our approach, we have performed both direct comparison with motion capture ground truth, and also we got qualitative results by navigating outdoors in prefix loops. While it was necessary to impose certain restrictions on the sensor's range of motion due to the nature of the algorithm, we found our implemented approach was both accurate and extremely robust to rapid camera motion due to the high frame rate. In summary, we demonstrate a constrained visual odometry approach which is conducted entirely upon a PPA sensor with a 500 hertz only using two watts of power. For more details, please see the paper or see me at poster 18.